and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Teamer Walkers. Going back to my favorite deck, we're going to play this over in Mythic, but we're going to try something a little new here. So the deck, like I originally designed this deck because of like to be to Field of the Dead. Field of the Dead was playing, you know, a whole bunch of sweepers. You know, usually they had like three or four main deck sweepers and, uh, you know, some of them like being the giant sweeper and then having the once upon a times that find them also. And I wanted to move like I wanted to play a, um, a Planeswalker deck that just basically moved away from creatures because, you know, like creatures were not very valuable against all the sweepers. Um, and uh, so that's that's where we started with those decks. You know, like it's obviously, you know, we got the uh, the turn one plays that we try to get to our three mana planeswalkers. We wanted a ton of three mana planeswalkers. Um, Spark double to copy them. But then, you know, it's all about Sarkin. You know, Sarkin at the top end and fly, you know, fly over an army of zombies and um, with a whole bunch of planeswalkers. So we had we had a couple Kasminas and a Tamio in here as well. What I'm gonna what I'm gonna try here though is there is just a lot less, um, and so I never had Nissa in the deck because I didn't want Nissa making three three lands that would, would that would uh, die to the sweepers that um, that Golos was playing and it wouldn't get through the zombies anyway and it's so I never played Nissa, but there's just so much less field of the dead right now, um, and it's you know it's a lot of more people playing like Simic mid range decks and everything like that. <clears throat> and so the games have just gone pretty long against other, like in the Simic Mirrors. And we've, like the last couple times we played it, and, or like the last time that we played it, and we would run out of gas sometimes. And so I want to try Krasis instead of Tami, or it's, yeah, instead of the Tamio and the Kasminas, I want to play Krasis instead. Because like if you think about like Kasmina, if we play that, make a 2-2, two -two, we get to draw a card, discard a card, we have Kasmina still. Even Krasis for four mana is still like just just draw a card and you know it's not discard just just simply draw but obviously crisis whenever you have six plus mana can be pretty crazy so if we play a really late game we'll have that it's possible we you know we don't need the crisis because like we're not trying to play like the longest game with this deck like you know we want to play like these planeswalkers and then sarkin and, and kill them quickly but we'll see so i, I just want to try out crisis you know always want to try new things um I'm, I'm not sure if this will be much of an upgrade um However, with with people playing less and less, or like you know, less and less uh, Golos, and then like sweepers being less and less prevalent, maybe it's time to go back to creatures. And <clears throat> as people are talking about, like Questing Beast, um, Questing Beast with Royal Scions and Wicked Wolf, like those two in particular, Questing Beast and Wicked Wolf. Uh, but Questing Beast works perfectly with Royal Scions, and then Wicked Wolf with with people playing other creatures that you actually want to kill now like you know gets field of the dead you know don't you just don't want wicked wolf like what like what, what are we going to kill like a zombie it's not something that we want but people just aren't playing that much field of the dead anymore so wicked wolf's gotten a lot better because a lot more people are playing like gilded goose the creature that we want to kill so we'll see you know maybe we need to adapt the deck here but for now we're keeping it very planeswalker heavy and seeing how we do a sarkin um but I could see making Teamer here with with like no Sarkin and you like no Sarkin, no no Mu Yanling, no no Narset, and basically go with like the Simic food deck, but with Royal Scions because Royal Scions is just awesome, uh, kind of thing like Royal Scions and Chandra. Uh, I I do like Chandra in the Oko meta of Oko making everything three three Elks. Chandra is amazing there. But anyway, let's let's give this a try. Let's see how Teamer Walkers does for us here. Yeah, so this will be it'll be interesting to see how Krasis performs. Always want to keep you know keep trying new things. <laughs> Sarkin's a G. Yeah, Sarkin does a great job of ending games, for sure. All right, hopefully we start picking up some wins. Our two ranked decks today did not do well, and we dropped from number one hundred to ninety-eight percent. So hopefully we get back into that top thousand. You say we can't cut Sarkin because Sarkin wins games. We, we could. You can also just play other cards that win games too. It's not like Sarkin's the only, like. If you cut Sarkin, you'd be playing other cards that win games. Like Questing Beast wins games.
-hmm. Wish we had better mana that previous time. It's like Temple of Mystery is like... It's kind of a weird card. For our deck. Oh, you're being sarcastic? Oh, sorry. I've definitely thought about like playing another forest, taking out a Temple of Mystery for another basic forest. But the thing is... Because, because of this. Because, you know, like... Temple doesn't allow us to play turn one. The thing is, is Temple is such a good card to put it into play off of a Boreal Grazer also. I wonder if like Spark Doubling Nissa is like actually good or not. May just run out of lands. <laughs> May just kill all of our lands. Yeah, the Nissa. Yeah, the Nissa passive stacks with two, two, two Nissas because it's whenever you tap a, a forest, add it an additional G. And if you have another one, it'll add an additional G. So yeah, like a forest will add three mana with two Nissas. No, Spark, Spark Double Nissa doesn't necessarily mean win because, like, if they just keep, if they just start killing all my creatures, like, priests and stuff. This could be kind of rough. But, I mean, I, I don't have a better plan. It's my only plan right now. Yeah, I'd really like to draw an Oko and turn this priest into an elk. That would be nice. Paradise Druid is a good draw. There wasn't really a way to. There wasn't really a way to to play both the Nissa and the Paradise Druid and have all three of my three threes and the Goose untapped to have like to have all five of these creatures untapped. Oh, this is this is a huge problem.
<clears throat> yeah, it's turning out that they may be getting rid of the Midnight Reaper and not getting rid of the Priest. Ending up being a mistake. I like that they're just doing all the damage at me, though. And not killing, not killing lands, not threatening Nyssa. Them having to sacrifice a Yara was very good for me as well. I don't really like that though. Oh, what? What? Why didn't it let me crack this food? Yeah, we're pretty dead. Steady your mind, Rowan. And I will inspire your heart. Embrace your fear and charge! Be wary of the ground you walk on. Rise, my elemental friend. The foods only gain two life because of Mayhem Devil. They blocked the worst one they could. I was like the only one they couldn't block. I was like literally the only one they couldn't block. If they, if they would have blocked any differently, they would have survived. <laughs> My poor opponent. That's the only block they couldn't make. Any other block, they they survive. Yeah, they were taking lethal. With the with the royal scions ticking up on that one, giving it trample. All right, so we're bringing in our two red spells. Paradise Druid comes out with Flame Sweep coming in. And then I think I want to get rid of the Narsets. I don't really like having five of these kind of plain, you know, five, five drops here, though. I think I'll play a Narset over a Nissa. I could, could go Veil of Summer. What if we just go Veil of Summer? Veil of Summer is pretty great. They activate. Priest of Forgotten Gods, you just Veil of Summer, you don't have to like sacrifice, they don't draw, they just, you know, they just sacrifice their two creatures. Uh, no, I did not update Stream Decker, sorry. I did not update the deckless command, that is.
No, I don't think our opponent's in chat. No. With my sister by my side, I do not fear the unknown. My answers lie in the cold truth. Bow, 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 bow. My plan is crystallizing. So they're stuck on lands over there. There they go. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. Hmm. So I got Flame Sweep here, which guarantees Rose Ions gets to ultimate. I could also move Yanling, tick up on, you know, something. If I, but if I do either of those, Rose Ions does get to ultimate, but they also get to sack the cat to draw a card. I could, I can three three the Ayara. Let me do that. The brambles of Which means we're not ultimating, but they don't get Choking. to just use a Yara. <laughs> yep. Yep, I did not want to exile the cat forever. I like cats too much. Hey, baloney pony. Going okay. Going okay. We haven't had the most wins today. Hmm. Why do you cross me? Don't care about Royal Science Ultimate, I suppose. Practiced a new combination. You will not like it. Jeez. They got stuck on lands, ultimated the scions, and that was that. All right, so so far, Krasis hasn't done anything. Yeah, our opponent needed to keep me from ultimating scions. Yeah, you, can, you just can't, like, you know, a draw four plus removal spell. Like, it's. Can't. Can't let that happen. Uh, we need to draw land. I can go turn one goose to make sure that we get to turn two Narset. This is where, like, if we had Kasmina, Kasmina would be able to just loot away the Grazer. That doesn't matter. 
and you know it'd be another creature for Sarkin and everything. Like this is a hand where Kasmina would be better than Krasis. But obviously, like late top decks, you'd rather be top decking Krasis most of the time. All right. Well, we know we have a third land, so I'm gonna get the Arboreal Grazer value in. That means we don't have to use the food for the goose right now. My brow keep an open mind. <laughs> four creatures? They were there was no lands. It was just four creatures. Jeez, we're dead. We didn't even get lands. Such violence is upsetting. That was another way that Kasmina would have been better. We put a Krasis down to the bottom where Narsa would have found Kasmina and get, got us Kasmina. So, so far, Krasis not great, but Krasis could be good this next turn. I <laughs> once got to Scion Ultimate with Niv Mizzet on board. That is awesome. So I think it's better to do Krasis first here, because if I if I play if I play Sarkin, yeah, I'm gonna do Krasis. This means that, like we still have like the five mana for Sarkin next turn after playing the Temple. Jeez. If I would have gone Sarkin, then um, I would have had to use the, like before mana. I would have had to use a goose, and then you know, like we played the temple. I guess we still would have had like the other goose mana for a four four crisis the next turn. I wish I would have templed first though, for how this played out. No, Mengu. Witness the ties that bind us all. The land fights for us. I fight with a dragon certain. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we put four creatures down to the bottom. We know we have a Krasis, a Spark Double, and two more of these one drops down at the bottom. We know those are our last four cards. Good job, Rex. Got the Diamond, Rakdos, Embercleave. Way to go. My opponent attacked with Questing Beast last turn, and I blocked it. And so then they played a new Questing Beast post-combat. What happened there? After playing the Nissa post-combat as well. I played those post-combat because I had the... You know, playing Nissa first when I had Krasis. They didn't want me to think about... Thinking about not blocking and then having the Krasis. Did they just top-deck a Krasis? Please don't top-deck a Krasis. Ugh... Oh, why'd you have to draw that? The 
land shall conquer you. So Sarkin's gonna die, of course. I will We're gonna take out one of their lands here. They'll take out a, a dual land. I'll take out the dual land. I don't think we need to take out the blue mana. A dragon would rather die than lose. To me, Ugh. not looking great. The land fights for us. To them roar. Have to block that thing. And then I'm going to just block these lands. If they would have attacked Sarkin up. I may have just traded both of my geese. I really don't know why they're attacking. I don't know why the Krasis attacks me and not Sarkin, honestly. I could have I could have lava coiled the goose and then we would have killed Nissa and then they would keep Krasis. Honestly, I probably should have just done that. My patience. But this is going to you know, getting rid of that Krasis makes it easier for us to keep Sarkin alive for sure. It's a really bad card for me to see. It's a really good draw. I think I should have just killed the goose to get rid of Nissa. Yeah, I think I should have done that. I mean, I I have more life than than this because of. The, these gilded geese. <laughs> Watch this. I want to keep the grazer for Paradise Druid, but I guess I'm probably going to be chump blocking with the grazer on the Wicked Wolf. Let's see. Uh, I can't afford that. Yeah, I should have killed Nessa. That was a mistake. But I guess having this other crisis would have been a huge problem. Your end has arrived. 
I should keep this in hand because of Royal Scions. Just unnecessary. Yeah, every time we hit a sub goal, we mark it down towards a 12 hour stream. Whenever I hit 20 nice. sub goals, I do a 12 hour stream total, you know, throughout different days. So it gets marked, marked down towards that. I'm gonna minus two on this goose. I'm Chandra, the immolation sensation. I've got a burning desire to finish you. Grazer is going to get in front of the Wicked Wolf. Please don't draw another Wicked Wolf. Behold, or Krasis. Or Questing Beast. No. have no lands we have so many lands over here Bye. No, I don't really know how I'm dealing with this Nissa right now. Well, this this only does three damage to non-elemental creatures, so it doesn't kill the lands. The lands are elementals. 
So if I do the three damage to every creature, all we're doing is getting rid of their their Paradise Druid for my Gilded Goose, and that's that's definitely not worth it. Not looking good for us, Hawkeye. That wicked wolf eating my dragon was really bad. So I could I could have Chandra minus one to keep Nissa from ultimating, but obviously we don't we just don't have anything but lands over here. But yeah, we put a bunch of stuff down to the bottom with that Narset minus a long time ago, including a Crisis. Side going to be a little tougher because you know before I was just cutting like the. The Tamios and stuff. Side so boarding is going to be a little bit tougher. What are the other two cards I want to cut? Um, don't really know what I want to cut from here. I want to play all of these. I guess I'm just going to play two and two Veil of Summer and Disdainful Stroke. Normally I would have cut the the two, uh, basically my three four mana Planeswalkers. I would have cut all three of those. And would have played the Negates as well. I think you know, like I think they're gonna have like a lot of mystical disputes and stuff like that. So I, I like Veil of Summer because of all their counter magic. I'm planning on playing Narset here to look for Oko. That's a card we never found last game. Before action. Hmm. So Narset saw four creatures last time, this time three creature or three lands in a creature. Hone your prowess. 
don't like showing my opponent. I don't like showing them Veil of Summer. All right, so we'll either make a food with the goose or disdainful stroke, depending on what we need to do. These grazers have been looking pretty bad. Keep drawing these grazers in the late game. I prefer to draw other cards, like even just like the lands. Um, I think the the most like fail. the question is what what cards are getting banned tomorrow realistically. The, the, the most likely outcome is nothing gets banned. Uh, besides that, Field of the Dead is probably the most likely card. But um, cards that are, you know, options are, you know, Field of the Dead, Golos, Oko. Um, can we stop drawing these grazers? Oh, man. Do not challenge a raging river. Uh, growth Spiral, Hydroid Crisis, Circuitous Route, Once Upon a Time, Veil of Summer. Agent of Treachery. I don't think there's really anything else that's a realistic option. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. And I'm not saying that any of those are likely. I said the most likely thing is nothing. But I think those are cards that I wouldn't be shocked. So everything went went pretty horrible for us that game. You know, Narset just puts all of our lands down to the bottom. We don't get to draw any. We just draw a Grazer back to back with no lands. The, the game one, all we do is just draw tons of lands and grazers. Like, we don't draw any spells. This is just going pretty terrible. Good job, FLN. Good job. If I keep Grazer here, you know, we have three land Grazer hand. Or three lands is really not enough. Cool. 
Glad we got rid of the grazer. Especially with Krasis, we're gonna need more lands. That is true. We went over to Nicol Bolas. So this this Nicol Bolas avatar is not working at all. We should probably change our avatar again. We changed it for Grixis, and that went terribly. We haven't seen an Oko in forever. Even with all my mulligans and everything, the last the last three games put together, we've probably seen 50 cards, zero Okos. Oh god, more than that for sure. Look at like the Narset minuses and stuff. The like There we go. He just had to say something. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Had to say something. I don't really think I can beat Edgewall Innkeeper on my Mold of Five. I'll think up a fun fate for you. Your new look is enchanting. Like, we draw two cards with Krasis, they cast their Lovestruck Beast that makes a 5-5 five five and draw two cards. Alright, Krasis. Experiment not going so well. So, we kind of need all these Flame Sweeps for... Um, you know, for like the for the one ones, the coil, and I think I think I kind of want the disdainful strokes, or Vela Summers. One of those two. Again, just any time I bring in Flame Sweep, I take out Paradise Druid. Oh, this is 62. I still have to cut two cards.
I'll play two Veil, one Disdainful Stroke. Because, like, if this is, like, the list, like, from the Mythic Championship that has Vivian's and, um, you know, Vivian's, Questing Beast, all, like, all sorts of stuff like that, especially Vivian's, uh, the Great Henge, things like that, I'm going to want that. These Grazers have just looked pretty awful. Hmm, maybe I need to start taking out Grazers, or... I guess basically, our deck's all about playing Oko and Royal Scions on turn two, and we just haven't had a hand that has Oko or the Royal Scions, like at all. And so our deck's been looking pretty bad the last four games. We need Oko to turn these Grazers into 3-3s, three so they actually do stuff. <laughs> yeah. We've all we've drawn our lands, but we've started these hands haven't had very many lands also. Alright, so after this one, definitely need to change our avatar. Nicobolus avatar doesn't win. I can't let them untap with Edgewall Innkeeper. It's, you know, we could get better value out of the Flame Sweep if we did, but can't really do that. <laughs> yep, Bullis loses, so we lose. Just how it goes. That really didn't work out. All right, so we still got six cards over there. I'm saving Coil for Beast. Not that Beast, Questing Beast. Not going good.
never see a so I'm killing the love struck beast. You're about to. I don't want to just like kill one one to keep the love struck beast from attacking because they play so many one ones that I I've help with your not, being on not fire found people. that path to be too useful. As we see there. At least we got them to use a Noxious Grasp on a Grazer. This is definitely the worst that Spark Doubles ever looked for me. Let's switch from Nicol Bolas. Let's get some some better luck going on here. Been nothing but losses today. Do not fear, my friend. We need more cats. Yeah, we gotta get get the good juju back. <clears throat> Johnny's the go-to. Right, Hawkeye? Oh, more mulligans. Uh. Okay, we'll we'll have Oko on three. We could do worse. The brambles of truth twirl and curl. What? Choking. Let's broaden your existence. Those blind to tyranny are lost. They well, that's cool. See it. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. I see you don't share my vision. That's cool. I really need Narset to grab a land, but as we know, Narset can't do that. I'll take Coil. Oh, I, I don't know why I didn't play that first and gain that extra life. <laughs> Alright, I guess I could have gained one extra life than what I have. It's again we see Krasis that we put down to the bottom that could have been Kasmina. The Kasmina would have been really nice to play here. Like this would have been a perfect time for Kasmina. Shh. 
Surely you must be famished. Honestly. So I don't think I don't know if these changes are really helping out the deck. Didn't really take in cons into consideration Krasis not getting hit off of <clears throat> off of Narset. I feel like my opponent should have waited on that Krasis. Either for Narset to be gone or for it not to die to Lava Coil that they knew about. One of the two. We have a big enough sample size that Kasmina should not stay in the deck. Do you mean not should not be cut from the deck, or that it should that it should not stay in the deck? No. No, I mean Kasmina. Kasmina's always been been perfectly fine. It's been a good card. So I wouldn't say that it it shouldn't. I would not say that it, it should not stay in the deck. It's been perfectly fine. I just I wanted to try out something else. You know, try out Crisis instead. But I've kind of missed these Kasminas. I think our opponent really helped us win that game with how they used Doko and how they played Krasis. I think we got a little fortunate there. My deck's looking a lot worse, though, whenever we don't have Royal Scions and Oko right away, and we have not had those right away very often. I'm just gonna cut the Nissa and the Krasis. How I'd, I'd normally like kind of sideboard out Kasmina and Tamio. <clears throat> With the mana of the first hand for a stomping ground and a bunch of blue cards, I didn't want to keep that. Try Drawn from Dreams in this deck. I could see that. Drawn from Dreams helps you hit your land drops and everything. I could see Drawn from Dreams. It's weird how we like keep we like we've had a lot of games like where we flood out but then, and we had a lot of games like where we can't hit like a third and fourth land drop it's it's kind of weird we're not really having anything in between and a lot of these games that like we couldn't hit the land drops then suddenly we like you know try to trade off when we play a longer game and then we find all of our lands in the middle and then just draw land after land up for a while. Okay. 
Can't really beat Nissa if they play Nissa. No, I've, I've never played Escape to the Wilds in the deck. Alright, so good. So we get to resolve Oko. That worked out very well for us. Oko turning this thing into a 3 3 is whatever. Makes this I'm card whatever. You're quite charmed to meet me. Questing Beast is not that threatening anymore. Oh dear. I'll think up a fun. Uh, yeah, I think I'd rather have Drawn from Dreams than. Oh, come on, draw land. Draw land. Yay. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Welcome to the feast. You know, I'd rather draw from dreams than escape to the wild with it being four versus five. Yay. Double Oko. Yeah, my opponent fighting over the questing beast is exactly what I needed there. Okay, we're going to play one more. We're going to have this one more game. But see what happened? We, we had to switch our... We had to switch the... The Avatar. Uh, Johnny helping us out. <laughs> We've had so many one-landers. It's crazy. So many. I mean, I guess I just try the Nissa Krasa stuff here. Yeah, we've just been mulliganing like every single game today. All right, got to give ourselves a chance if we draw three mana walker for turn two. Yeah. All the one landers. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, would have the walker. Get out of here, Krasis. No mana for you. This is the adventures. Yep. I don't love that. I don't I don't really like my adventure matchup. So I saw it was pretty rough a little bit ago and My plan is crystallizing. I don't really. I've never really liked my ad adventure matchup too much. Um, like the the, aggre the aggressive creature decks are pretty tough. Yeah, Krasis has looked pretty terrible for us. Surprisingly bad, but we haven't had a mana. Oh, 
wait. Sorry. Two. <laughs> questing I know. Every every single one of our opponents have played Questing Beast. <laughs> Too strong. I can play Royal Scions and Chump Block and take six. Yeah, those hands were horrible. I mean, Narset stops like the adventure cards from drawing so many cards, but only if we have only if we have defense to keep them alive. Bioess yeah, I <clears throat> Bioessence Hydra you wanna play that card if you wanna play a lot of other creatures. Like you know, like that's you know the deck this deck was designed to you know be good against Golos with not playing very many creatures and everything, not not opening up to sweepers. Bioessence Hydra, um a couple of things yeah, so it wouldn't really fit too well in the deck for, for that part, because you know like Playing just more fives alongside Sarkin is kind of tough. Now, you can build a Bioessence inside your deck, which I've, you know, had one from before also. But I think with that, you want to play, like, a lot more Kioras, um, but And then, like, four power creatures, which, you know, that can be playing... You know, that's Questing Beast, which is perfect there. You know, Gruul Spellbreaker, Questing Beast. Um... Bio Essence Hydra, Krasis, that kind of stuff. And you're playing like more of a team or ramp deck, you know, ramp creature deck. The other thing is playing five mana creatures is just always kind of tough with um, with Oko. Because usually you don't have, like you don't always have a lot of Planeswalkers in play when you play. Like sometimes you do, but you don't always have a lot of Planeswalkers in play whenever you play Bio Essence Hydra to immediately get the counters. A lot of the times you play Bioessence Hydra and then you play your five mana Planeswalker afterwards that allows you to, that makes it, you know, turns it into from being a 4-4 into a 10-10 and then you get to attack immediately. Could turn it into, you know, I had a, a Bioess inside your deck before. Um, could go back and kind of remake that deck as well. I don't think you'll be needing that. Hmm. Steady your mind, Rowan. And up. Let me synthesize the facts. I was really hoping to have an untapped green source and be able to veil a summer, protect the royal scions here from murderous rider. That's what I was really Let hoping me for. Pick your brain for a minute. Fear triumphs this day. Quite unfortunate. With patience, 
even a light breeze. I could have just played Mu Yanling in Temple and not Scions. I was probably too greedy for me playing Scions. Get me involved. Learn some respect. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. My, my, how you've grown. I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to be Vivian. Victory has evaporated from my head. I don't I don't have anything here. All right, so Krasis, not a fit in the deck. Rough day today. Rough day. We went from number 100 down to 96%. Going ranked we went 3 and 9 on the day. But that's all right. It happens. Okay, so we're gonna not play Krasis or Nissa. I didn't. I thought that just like upped our curve too much and and everything. And you know, Krasis isn't really a card that we want to be slamming down on turn four. Um, doesn't really work. You know, doesn't work with Narset. Doesn't work with Sarkin. Um, definitely felt worse. So let's go back to where I had it. So where I had it is I had an extra lava coil in here. The Kasmina's in here. And then a Tamiyo to rebuy stuff. The Tamiyo is definitely my least favorite card in the deck. I think maybe we just keep Tamiyo out of the deck and play another Paradise Druid. Or play... Maybe just play an extra land... But yeah, like playing the Krasis made made Narset worse, made Sarkin worse, made Spark Double worse. It made just so many things worse. And then our, our curve was just too high, you know, at that point. Like our, our curve was just way too high. So going back to back back to how we had it here. Yeah, Tam Tamio is definitely like the sideboard out card for sure. Tamiyo helps us find Sarkin though, because you know, like we're trying to kill people quickly game one, um, with you know playing planeswalkers and curving here, and like you know Sarkin being like the top of the curve. Um, hey bolts, GGs, GGs. So yeah, so that experiment failed. So, um, but you know that's that's a good thing about uh, experimenting. You know, like it's it's good to always to try stuff. You know, because especially like these colors, there's so many good cards and everything, but. You know, so we tried having like Krasis and, and Nissa and stuff, but our curve was just too high. Um, we we ended up going two and three with it still, but like the three losses, we weren't competitive at all. We got just annihilated all three of those losses. That, you know, that that speaks to the more going wrong than just the Krasis looking really bad. But I haven't had I haven't had this kind of mana trouble with this deck before just every game mulligan you know our games we couldn't hit land drops it was just pretty bad we never had 
we never had turn two planeswalkers like that never happened <laughs> which you think that would that would happen a good amount of time and it has before just today was just a pretty bad day um no bolts no no gg's bolts um anyway that's uh that's it here what did we cut for the second chandra I, we actually we cut like the third paradise druid for the second chandra from a, a long time ago which i still like that but I, I could definitely see taking the tamio out to get that third paradise druid back in that's that's like the one change that i'm not sure about like maybe maybe we want three paradise druid z you know zero tamio but I definitely want these Casminas back. Um, oh, Sahili. That's right. Yeah, we took out the Sahili. I don't remember what the Sahili did. Maybe I added in a third coil there. Because I remember, yeah, I had three Paradise Druid, one Sahili in there. Anyway, um, yep. So uh, adding... Um, you know, trying new things is, is good. It's always good to try new things, but it's not always going to work. And so this was this was a time that it didn't work for us. So we're going to go back to how we had it before whenever we were 7 0 the metagame challenge. However, like I said, the meta, you know, our metagame is changing quite a bit. Field of the Dead, which used to be everywhere, and that's, you know, whenever I first started playing this deck, Field of the Dead was everywhere, and we were doing really well against Field of the Dead. Now Field of the Dead is kind of nowhere I don't know if people are like expecting it to get banned or people are just moving away from it. I don't I don't know what's happening, but Field of the Dead's kind of nowhere. The last two days, like we played against Field of the Dead zero times today. We didn't see it at all. Yesterday in all of our matches, we saw it one time. I remember I remember we saw it the one time yesterday. And so, you know, last two days, you know, one out of I don't know, a lot of matches. <laughs> so there's not not too much uh Field of the Dead anywhere, so Maybe we need to adapt and and be better against creatures because this deck the the weakness for this deck is the is the creature heavy decks. However, like a you know a week or a week ago, whenever I put this together, there was not really the creature heavy decks. But the more creature heavy decks get uh, popular, the weaker this deck's going to be because um, if you don't have Oko, having d defense against creatures is tough. All right, anyway, there we go. That's Teamer Walkers. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Hope you learned some stuff. Um, you know, leave comments. I always like seeing some comments. Uh, you know, let me know what, what do you want to, to happen on Monday, so tomorrow, maybe by the time you're watching this, what do you want to happen to the BNR announcement over there and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, that's it here, here again. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.